What's going on, guys? I'm Kelly with Foreigners Comic Book Sales. And I'm Douglas with By the Brick. And welcome back to another episode of What's New This Week. And we have plenty of new comics in this week to go over. Yeah, we uh, got some pretty nice key issues. And uh, first up, we have issue 300 of The Amazing Spider Man. It is the first appearance of Venom. Uh, we are asking $220 for this book. Because it is the first appearance of Venom. Yeah. Next up is issue 129. And this is the first appearance of Punisher. Um, this one's going for four fifty. We give it about a four point five, maybe a five point zero grade. Here we have another copy of the first appearance of Punisher. Uh, this one we're asking five hundred dollars for. A little bit better condition. A little bit. Just enough. Here we have issue one twenty five. Uh, this one's only going for fifteen dollars. Here we have issue 121, and this is the death of Gwen Stacy. Uh, this book's going for $220. No, I'm sorry, $250. Here we have issue 4, King Size Annual, and this one's going for $15. A bit heavier. This is issue 4, King Size Annual number 5, and that one's going for $20. Also a bit heavy. This is a, a very nice copy of issue 60 of the original Amazing Spider-Man. Um, and this one's only going for $30. Uh, here we have issue 58. Uh, this one is also a nice book. And it is going for $30. Here we have issue 57. Uh, this one's in good condition, and it's going for $24. Here we have issue 56, and this one's in okay condition, and it's going for $20. Uh, here we have issue 48, and this one's going for 40 but That's not all, folks. It is not. The vulture's back. We have a few more Silver Age here. <coughs> First we have Captain America, issue 101, and that one's going for $20. Here we have issue 102, and this one is going for $20 also. Here we have issue 103, and this one's $20 as well. This one is issue 104, also $20. We have issue 105, and this one is going for $30. Next up is a gold, gold, uh, golden age. Um, it's going for $30, world's finest, issue 101. And here we have issue 151, 12 cent silver. Uh, it's going for 20 bucks. Uh, well, that's it for the comics, and uh, we're gonna go check out what's new with Roy Thomas this week. And first up was Roy Thomas's artwork. We have a lieutenant here, he's from a comic book. He's very detailed, holding an off duty flag. He's got a little bullet on him on both sides. Pretty cool looking. No, sure which one he came from or not. Doesn't say. He did not put it on there. But uh, he's going for a hundred dollars. Very nicely done. Next up is Spider-Man. Also a stand up. And this one's going for eighty dollars. Pretty sweet. Here we have Negan from The Walking Dead. And he's going for 70. That'll go quick. You know, yeah. Here we have Joker from the Arkham Asylum. And he is going for 75. Here's a little, it's like a Simpson character, the Joker. And he's going for 20 bucks. 
refrigerator magnet. Yep. And we also have a Simpson, well, Simpson like Superman. And this one's also magnetized. Yeah, I don't think he's an official character. No, it's not. And this one goes go as far as 20 bucks. Well, that's it for uh, Roy Thomas's artwork, and we are now going to head on over to video games and game consoles. And here we are on the game side, and first up we have the original Xbox. Uh, this one's going for $90 with five games. Cool lightning design on it. Yep, it's got a skin on it. It's come with uh, two controllers, only one with us right now. Um, there's a few games here, and we have more in our showcase. But uh, go ahead and come and check that out. Clearly, this belongs to Raiden. Possibly. And next up in some Super Nintendo games, we have Final Fantasy 3. And this one's going for $40. Only but a goodie! Here we have a nice copy of Super Mario World. And this one's going for $20. This is Tecmo Super Bowl 3, and this one's going for $15. Here we have Side Pocket, which is a pool game. Uh, it's going for 20 bucks. Here we have Kirby's Dream Course. Kirby's Mission. And this one's going for $20. Uh, last up for our Super Nintendo games, this is Earthbound. This game was recalled a long, long time ago. A bunch of stuff went on with it. But uh, this game is retailing for $200. Pretty rare and sought after. Oh, yeah. And NES games. Here we have Punch Out. And this one's going for $10. We have our Legend of Zelda. That one's going for 10. Nope, 15, sorry. 15, not gold edition. It's not gold edition, is it? Nope. Not gold edition. <laughs> this is Gunsmoke. This is going for $15. This is a Cyber Stadium series and Base Wars. Never heard of it. And this one goes for ten dollars. Uh, the sticker's going on it. That's still twenty bucks. This is Castlevania three. No sticker. No sticker. No problem. This is a uh, Mediac Mansion, and this one goes for fifteen dollars. This is Wizards and Warriors. This one goes for ten dollars as well. This is Wizards and Warriors 2, Iron Sword. And that goes for $10. Get your RPGs here. And this is Kings of the Beach. It also goes for $10. Got a few more games. A couple good titles. Here we have Double Dragon. Fun game. $10. Here we have Double Dragon 2. Also 10. Here we have Boulder Dash. This one goes for 15. What about JVC? Blaster Master. Remember that one? That one goes for $10. Really like all these newer titles that we got in. Well, old titles that we got in, but new for us. Uh, here we have Shadow Gate. And this one goes for ten dollars. We have Doctor X Mario. Not like Tetris. And this one goes for ten dollars. This was an old fun one, uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Ranger. That one goes for fifteen dollars. And here we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one. That goes for 10. 
This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade. That one's up for 15. And this one is actually $25. This is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, the Manhattan Project. So that's it with the NES games. Have a few Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. This is the Game Boy camera. Just not going to fit on there. Nice condition. That goes for twenty dollars. This goes for seven. This is Miss Pac-Man, a special color edition. Okay, we have asteroids. That one goes for six dollars. And Tetris DX. That one goes for five dollars. For Game Boy Advance, this is a uh, Pokemon Fire Red version. This one goes for ten. This is Skama King Master Spirits. That one goes for ten dollars as well. Never heard of that one. Sword fighting game and anime. Uh, this is Jimmy Neutron, Jimmy Megatron. Five bucks. Um, IK the Ultimate Martial Arts Simulation. That one goes for ten dollars. Kung Fu was the Ultimate Martial Arts Simulation. And this is Cartoon Network Speedway. That one goes for six dollars. And this is the last for the video games. This is on PS1. And here we have WCW vs. the World. Uh, these are ten dollars for your first game, five dollars for anyone after that. Uh, this little stack we got here. This is WCW NWO Thunder. That was a fun one. I remember playing that one when I was younger. This one as well. This is a uh, Jet Moto. I remember playing that. And this is Jet Moto Two. What are they going for? Ten dollars for your first game. Five dollars for anyone after that. So fifteen for both. And this is Matt Hoffman's Pro Jam X. And then we have NHL 2000. And these are going for all the same price. And that is it for the video games. And we're going to head on over to Legos. And first up this week in Lego minifigs, we have a Bionicle mini. Toa... Marhaya, Marhai, Jailer, Jaller, I'm not sure. It's going for 198 It's pretty sweet. Little mini bionicle. And that's not all. We have another mini bionicle with a similar name. It's Toa Marhai Matoro. That's going for two thir $273. Pretty sweet. Next up, we have Rock Monster. Kind of like the ones out of the new Power Ranger movie. I mean, they call those putties, but you know. Um, this one's Meltrox, the trans red. I guess there's a few different colors of this. This one's going for four fifty-seven. dollars His mouth opens up. Next up, we have... The Inquisitor, going for a not surprising amount of fourteen fifty-seven. He's a little sought after. Got the armor, the helmet, and last up in minifigs, we have Simon Maz Mazrani. Um, if I pronounce that correctly, going for three thirty-four. He's from the Jurassic Park series. I think that was a Jurassic World. But that's all for minifigs. Now we're going to take a look at some of the sealed sets we have in this week. And next up in Lego, we have Darth Vader. The Bionicle version. I mean, he's not from the Bionicle series, but it still has those Bionicle style parts on it. I believe this set is going sealed for about $25 to $30. Pretty sweet. I know they have a new variable up that uh, has a removable helmet with his face underneath all messed up and everything. I'm going to have to get that one next. But we're going to move on to Iron Man versus Ultron. 
This one's going for, I believe, $25 to $30 sealed. Brand new. Next up, uh, we also had this in one of our earlier shows. Carnage's Shield Sky Attack. We had some problems with that last time. A little bit of a tongue twister. Um, but this one's actually going for like $30 to $35 sealed. <clears throat> Pretty sweet. And last up in Lego sealed sets, we have the Harry Potter, the Forbidden Forest. This is also sealed, brand new. Believe it or not, this one is actually going for around $60. Wow. Now we're going to move on to some action figures we have in this week. Yep. Here we have the Hawk Buster with the Hawk. Uh, they kind of connect together here. Um, we're selling this together for $200. It's a nice little piece. Very nice, very detailed. Very detailed. It looks all marked up, like, like he's been fighting. So I give you a little bit of a closer look here. You kind of see where he's all marked up and everything. Obviously it's meant to be there. We didn't like throw it down the street or nothing. Some more Hawk figures. That was 2002, I believe. 2003, this Hawk was. It's like some kind of action packed Hawk. This or? one you push forward and it op he opens his, opens his mouth. Urgh. Pretty cool. Uh, this figure's going for about $15. So the little bigger Hawk, this one's from the movie. He throws his arms around. Like those rock'em sock'em robots. Yeah, almost. Uh, this one's going for 10. Porn and, and everything. This is uh, one of the first build a figure ones. This is Grey Hawk. He's going for $15 as well. Bigger than the other two. We have Spawn Full Skulls. This one's pretty cool. This one's going for $20. Totally worth it. Very detailed. <clears throat> you remember the name of this guy? That is Tremor. Uh, it's uh, called Tremor 3. Is it one of the variants? It's one of the more recent, well, not recent, but you know, later variants. Pretty cool looking guy. Uh, we're selling him for $20. Pretty sweet, pretty detailed. We got some um, different cards of Pokemon. Well, they're all sun and moon, but, you know, different packs. All sealed brand new. Yep. Uh, these are just a handful. We got a lot more in than that. Uh, we're selling those for $5 a piece. And we got some more pops in. Here we have Thor and Loki from uh, Thor Ragnarok. Which is, is pretty cool. We are, we're selling these for 10 bucks a piece. Uh, that's it for new this week. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, check us out on Facebook, like the page, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. See you then.